welcome to our Qigong class. Let's stand in the Wuji posture. The feet are hip width and parallel. Sink your attention into the Dantian, the lower Dantian here at the belly. Stand straight. Keep the spine straight, feeling like you're sinking into the earth and also being lifted from above as if by a string. Uh, mute folks so we don't have the background noise. So just keep standing in the Wuji posture. Standing in the Wuji posture, relax, sink into the earth, also feeling like you're being lifted from above. Tip the hips forward, taking out some of that S-curve out of the lower back. Standing, breathing, relaxing. Feeling strong and stable. Tip the chin down just a little bit like you're saying yes to further straighten and elongate the spine. Separate the arms so that the cheek can flow freely. Breathe from the belly. Feel that connection with the earth as you breathe. Full body breaths. And then in and out through the nose. Let's do some gentle twisting, giving those organs a massage, some nice, gentle, loose stretching and twisting. Keep bend, just keep a little bit of a bend in the knee that will protect the knees and the lower back. Letting the arms swing freely, tapping the body gently. Letting go of any tension, swinging like rag doll, one of those little dolls that you could twist and the, the arms would just flay from side to side. Feeling that nice gentle twist through the back, through the lower back and the sides and the hips. Whoever might be a little tight for you today, feel those areas opening up. And we can move the arms up up to the shoulders. Let the head naturally turn with the body as you swing and tap. Swing and tap. Ringing the bell. Letting the breath be natural and free. Working that, letting the arms come gradually down the body. Kidneys, spleen, liver. And the hips. And coming back to center. I have the weight uh, evenly distributed. Uh, we can also do a turn where we transfer the weight and turn into the hip. Push and transfer, push and transfer. This is constant bear, one variation of constant bear. Close the claw, open, close, transfer, close, open, transfer, close. Yeah, and close. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you Go outside. Keep doing the constant bear. Come on, this way. There we go. Good boy. Constant bear. And back to center. And let's relax, release, release the head, neck, and shoulders. Let go of any tension. Let it melt into the earth. Twist the wrists. In and out, nice stretch. And come up and back down. And then let's relax forward again, relax the lower back, draw that energy up, open the arms wide, embrace everything. 
Embrace the sky. Let that heavenly chi flow into the crown of the head, the forehead, the temples, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, the throat, the shoulders sliding down. Feeling the connection here at the belly, holding that belly. And release, relax, discard stagnant chi. Ragdoll. And draw up. Open, look up, see everything. Float the hands down, pouring that heavenly chi in. Feeling the connection, feeling the hands at the belly, feeling that magnetic connection. Magnetic energy, vibration, tingling, any other sensations you might feel, playing around with that, noticing that energy field, noticing where it feels the strongest. So come out, how does that feel? And then in, and then finding that sweet spot right at the, where it feels uh, most intense. Right there for me, and it, it'll, it'll change around. And as you, as you feel the chi build, of a, the energy field will build too. And instead of being up close, it might come out and be, become farther, farther away. You can play around with that. And then let's relax again. And then let's sway over the one foot, sway over the other foot, transfer and sway, transfer and sway. And now let's twist over to one side. This is such a nice gentle stretch. Twist over to the edge, the outer edge of the other foot. Look at the outer edge, the back heel. And then twist, look at the toes, the pinky toe, the back heel. And then at your own pace, swaying and twisting from one side to the other, feeling that nice stretch down the outer back uh, hip. And keep breathing, keep breathing. And then back to the center, relax, ragdoll, release any tension, let it melt into the earth. Open, draw up, open out, embrace. Slight back bend as we look up and see everything. Open the eyes wide. Float the hands down, cleansing, balancing. Again, feeling the connection here at the belly. And then let's slide the hands back along the belt channel a few times. Slide and notice the shoulder blades pinch together and then come forward through that articulating motion. And again, feel the belly, hold the belly, building chi, building warmth, building energy. Standing, standing in the Wuji posture, the meeting place of something and nothing, nothing and something, yin and yang. Before, before there was a binary. And we relax again, and then let's more drop to the side. Feel the chi. Eyes open wide, look up, see the chi, see everything. Feel that come down as you float the hands down, float, float, float. And we store here at the energy reservoir, the Dantian, the cinnabar field, the field of cinnabar, the red field, the main energy storage field, and along with the heart and the upper Dantian. And then let's relax again, relax, release. Come back to standing. Earth connection, relax the wrists. Right, so we'll do the shibashi today, the 18 shu, 10 ba, eight shi form, shibashi, 18 form. So we'll start with the preparation. I will turn around for just this part and then I'll, I'll turn back around again. So we're going to have the heels together, heels together. Just like we start when we start the Chen Menching Tai Chi form, the on form, starts the same way with the preparation step. So find your center point. Sink the weight into the right leg, which the waist will naturally wind to the right. As you unwind, we step out, sink the weight into the left leg, turn the right toes come forward as we pivot on the heel, and then the left toes maybe come forward as we come back to the center. 
So we come back into that parallel hip width Ujjayi posture. And we're gonna raise the water from the well. Open, slide down. So there are six wrist bends. There's one, two, slide back, three, up, four, slide down the pane of glass, five, neutral, six. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, push off, six. I'll say it once more because it helps me to have the repetition. Two, three, four, oh, that was five, <laughs> and six. So then we just work on making the motion very fluid. Keep going, I'm gonna admit someone to the room. Raising the water from the well, separating heaven and earth, yin and yang. Some more full body movements. Breathing with the movement, very nice. All right, now we're gonna open the heart. Tip back, rock back and forward can, can, in a controlled way. Bend the knees. Nice inhale and exhale. Open, rocking and close. In and out through the nose. About six repetitions each. Sometimes I'll go a little over though. Let's do this once more. And release, release, release. And then hands up over the head. Feel your energetic crown. Feel your energetic crown. And we pivot out on the ball of the foot. One arm comes down to about shoulder height. Follow the movement with your eyes. Comes back up overhead. And then down, follow, engage the eyes. And up, so we're painting a rainbow and imagining that what that would look like as it comes down into one hand, up overhead, and then down into the other hand, what the colors would look like, what it would feel like. Just using your visualization and imagination. A few more, pivoting. Engaging the eyes. Let's do once more on each side. Move it out. Move it out. Hands come up, face each other. Now they face away from each other. Now they scoop down out to the horizon, into the earth, cross the wrist one way. So like mine's right or under left. And then clear, clear the clouds. And then I'm gonna cross the other way. Clear. So crossing about two finger widths up from the wrist crease, the inner and outer gates, key acupuncture points. Scooping, gathering, and clearing and releasing the cycle of everything. Clear, and then the other way, gather, and rotate the hands out and clear. And now we move to number five, which is repulsing the monkey. So I have one hand on top, the other hand's on the bottom, like so, holding a ball. Hands are relaxed and natural. The joints are open, loose, and springy. The hand that's on the bottom, you're just gonna allow gravity to drop that hand back, embracing out to the side like a big bear hug. The front hand turns palm up, this hand comes by your ear like this. And right here, there's a gentle sinking and rising as you push something off your wrist like that, like so. And now you're primed to go to the other visit side. Gravity drops the hand back. We embrace out to the side, push off the wrist as we sink and rise, but very subtly. This is uh, swimming, swimming on dry land, repulsing the monkey because the monkey is trying to steal a peach from a jar.
nice and smooth, smooth fluid motions. Feel those, feel that nice massaging of the organs. Maybe if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't even notice it. And back to center. And now we'll do rowing the boat. We'll row the boat forward three times, exploring the range of motion in the shoulder socket. You shouldn't feel any pain, so uh, make this circle any size you'd like or need to, and just be symmetrical. So whatever you can do on one side, you mirror on the other side. Explore that range of motion, row the boat forward, and then we're gonna pause, reverse, row the boat back. Row the boat back. Enjoy the stretch, explore the range of motion. Even though we're moving the arms, we're doing full body movements where the body, this core of the body is propelling the extremities like so. And now we hold up the ball. So transfer the weight to one side, scoop and present. Look into the palm as though you're proudly presenting something, a perfect piece of fruit, for example. And then relax, release, and then the other side. Pop. Pop. And Stretch, engage the eyes, present, look into the palm. Look. You're saying, look, look what I have. And again. That again, nice, nice gentle stretches and then back to the center. And now we're gonna use both hands, somewhat of a similar movement. We're gonna turn and look out the portal, also called opening the tiger's mouth. So hold the belly, feel that connection. And then we're gonna just swing the arms as one unit, right? And I'm gonna swing, raise my, I can raise your heel if you'd like, and then look through the portal like that. Opening the tiger's mouth, swing, and look, raising the heel if you'd like. And look. Tune into the movement. Feel how it's affecting the abdomen at the outer limit of the stretch. See if you can relax into it. Couple more. And then back to the center. And feel that chi. And now we will brush the knee. So one hand's on top, nice and relaxed, kind of makes an upside down pyramid with your wrists. The other hand is down here, protecting your lower abdomen. And the hand that's on top, we're gonna wind up in that direction. So hand that's on top, go in that direction. And then as we unwind, we press with the fingertips, and then gently flex, sink and rise. Watch your opponent go flying into the distance. And then we wind up to the other side, pat hands on top. As we unwind, press with the fingers, flex, gentle flex, and then the palm and come up. Gather, wind up. Follow the movement with your eyes. Wind up, press, follow. Wind up, press, follow. A lot of Qigong has these little beats where it's like if you had somebody on a swing, there's just that one moment where you hold the swing back or you hold the arrow back and then you let it sail.
potential energy and kinetic energy. Let's do a couple more because this is a nice one. Brushing the knee because it kind of sort of looks like the bottom hand is brushing the knee. And now we do the reverse of that, similar to the reverse of that, which is waving hands in the cloud. So one hand's up here, protecting, would be protecting the upper body and the martial aspect. And then the lower hand's down here, the polarity pointing up, pointing down like a battery. Relax, relax uh, the shoulders and neck. Feeling like you're holding something precious. And then the top hand, we're gonna move in that direction. So whatever hand's on top, let's turn that direction and then wave off to the side and then move the hands in the vertical, reverse the hands in the vertical plane, hold something precious, turn, scoop, turn, hold something precious, wave, scoop, hold something precious, wave and scoop. And then this becomes like a perpetual motion machine. Tuck the hips under gently to protect the lower back. Slight bend, in, slight bend in the knee. If your legs get tired from that subtle sink, you can always rise back up and then sink back into it, but you do get used to it. And waving hands in the clouds, cloud hands. You can transfer the weight as you do this. Push, push, push. You can step, close, step, close. I'll do three, close, and then step. I'll do three the other way. Close, step, close, third, close. Waving hands in the clouds. Center. And now we'll do our 70-30 postures. So we'll put one foot out, doesn't matter which foot you start with because we'll do both sides. So 70-30 stance, weight is on the back leg like that. And then I'm going to transfer the weight. And it, the foot that's in front, that same hand comes under. So one foot's on the outside and the same hand is on the outside. And then transfer the weight back. Forward and back. Feet are flat on the earth. For this one, let's do a couple more. Transfer, pushing forward, pushing back, and coming back to the center. And then the other side, same thing. That foot's in front, weight starts on the back foot, transfer the weight, hand comes under and push back, forward, back. And back and back to center. And now we'll do withdraw and push. So weight starts on the back leg, scoop out, elbows back. Bring that chi into your shoulders and then the palms face out and there's a dip like that as we make the ellipse shape with our hands and arms. And up and this one you can raise the toe and the heel. Withdraw and push, withdraw, push. Notice how powerful this is because there's this compression right here once more. Back to center, and then the other side. Snaps back. Just a couple more. Engage the eyes out in front of you. Soft focus, soft gaze, and back to the center. And now we'll do the dove. Weight starts on the back leg again, arms come back, fingertips point back, and then everything comes forward, everything comes forward, and then sucks back and flips open. And this one, you have the heel come up and the toe comes up. Everything comes forward and back and open. So once more. And so. Back to center, other side, starting on the back leg. Everything comes forward, propelling forward and back. Think of how small and light jellyfish are 
and how they're able to amazingly use these kind of motions and movements to propel themselves in uh, you know, the uh, very strong ocean currents. Let's do once more. Ocean currents that go this way and this way and all sorts of directions and they're able to get around and do what needs to be done. So now we'll stand in the high horse posture. We're going to do punching with eyes narrow. Put your game faces on. And one one fist. So my I'm making a fist, and the, the palm, so so to speak, is facing up. The knuckles are facing down. So we twist and come out like that. Scrunch the eyes, narrow the eyes, squeeze the fist and the toes, and keep the shoulders square. And we're punching like right. Uh, if we were looking in the mirror, we'd be aiming for the sternum. And then release, then we gather and punch narrow, squeeze. Release, punch narrow, squeeze. And we're releasing trapped chi, trapped, trapped liver chi. That's why we're engaging the eyes. Letting go of things that don't serve us, anger, rage, frustration, shame, all those strong emotions that maybe get in our way. And Few more, punching with eyes narrow. A couple more. All right, back to center. And now we will do the crane, the crane spread springs. I bring the feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna bring the arms out and either the heel can come up or the knee can come up, float up, up and down. The crane spreads wings. <laughs> Couple more. And back to center. Feel the energy. Feel the energy around your Run your hands or wherever you feel it. And now we're going to roll the ball of chi. So imagine you have the ball of chi in your hands. And again, full body motion. One way. Imagine what it looks and feels like. Use any visualizations you'd like. Imagine a little smiley face on your ball of chi. Any colors you'd like. We often use yellow and white. And back to center. Feel that earth connection. And then we're going to do our cloud stepping, number 17. So we imagine that there's a, a thread connecting the hand to the opposite knee. And then when we raise the hands, we raise the knee. And then we tap to clear the chi out the arm, other side. Loud stepping. Nice and loose and smooth. more. Great. And then back to center. Find the center point. And then clear. 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 And gather. Fill up like a fountain pen. Palming the chi, letting the hands float down on that wave of chi. Right. Clear. Fill up. Float down. Smoothing the chi. And standing. Standing in the Wuji posture. A 
align your align your structure. Feel balanced and strong and stable. And we'll, we'll stand for a moment in the Wuji posture to allow the chi that we cultivated to integrate throughout the body, the organs, the bones, the tendons, the inside and the outside, going wherever it needs to go so that all the meridians are balanced. Anywhere where there's an excess will flow to where there's a deficiency and we'll have a nice even balance on the, the inside and the outside, the right and the left side, the top and the bottom will allow everything to be even and balanced. Just trusting that everything will settle and go where it needs to go. And also building chi and stamina and resilience. And really relaxing, forward, open, cleansing breath, blend down column of chi, breathe with the earth, left foot comes to right foot. 